Really? It's the Billboard Music Awards. Oh, fashion, 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 fashion. Fashion, fashion? Fashion. 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 Mm -hmm. fashion. Today's episode of Dirty Laundry is brought to you by T-Mobile. Binge watchers and music lovers, switch to the uncarrier and do more with your data. Oh! Yes. Oh. I mean, this is different for Ariana. Do you feel like it's a dangerous woman? I think that's a dangerous dress. <laughs> I think she looks fantastic, but it reminds me so much of Kendall Jenner's Met Gala dress. Oh my gosh, I didn't even you know, see but that. I like I do. this one though because it's not as like see-through, and I like the blue and the black. I do think they're similar, but I think it's still different enough because this is primarily like black. It's a little bit edgier. I started from the bottom and looked up, and I thought it's Kylie, it's Nicki Minaj, it's Ariana Grande. Started from the bottom, now you're here. Now it's Ariana. Signature ponytail. Yeah, looks her good. makeup looks great. Hair and makeup on. Point. It's kind of like a futuristic, mm -hmm. like Xenon mm -hmm. Barbie Ariana, you know? <laughs> There's a lot going on here. It's interesting, it's it's different for her. Here's what I will give her though, is it fits her body well. I like it and this is my favorite photo I've seen of the look. I would have done a different shoe, but I know why she did that. It's because she's teeny tiny and she needs some height, which I totally oh, get. Yeah. What is, what's her shoes? Ooh, it looks like the what? half socks. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> like, like the little, <laughs> that you try on shoes at Nordstrom with? Yeah. Yes. I will say, I don't know how I feel about the blue just yet. Mm -hmm. It almost like sticks out, especially the piece right on her neck. Or it looks like a spirograph from when I was like five. You know, the spirographs that you would put your pencil in and you oh would just like gosh. make all these geometric shapes. I just don't feel like this dress is her style whatsoever. It yeah. just doesn't seem like her personality at all. You know what goes really well with this dress? Her thigh. Peeking out, little peekaboo, little yeah. peekaboo thigh. I'm not mad about it. This is what inside of a computer looks like. like get out of my brain. Right? That's exactly what I was gonna say. Oh, it's twins. like wires, the and, wires like and like feedback. feedback. <laughs> Sentences. <laughs> Zendaya is such a goddess. This is cool. I like it. I think this works because Zendaya is wearing it. I think if someone mm. else was wearing it, I wouldn't be as blown away. I love this dress color on her. I think it looks fantastic. Her body, her hair is always so different. She's such a chameleon. She's so elegant. She's basically wearing her own skin color, but a little lighter right. as a dress. She looks nude, but yesterday was send a nude day, so maybe that's what she was inspired by. That's the thing. Did you send nudes to anybody? No. Oh, you missed out. I sent nudes to my dog. There's, <laughs> wow, <laughs> know what you're into. Your dog's always into. Anyways, nude. back to Zendaya. <laughs> Her entire look is just, what's the word I'm looking for? Cute. Not symmetrical. <laughs> <laughs> no, cute. Yeah, she's cute. I wanted to say like symmetrical, but that doesn't make any sense. But it's just like a line and it's great. And she's fabulous. A lot of accessories. 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 I do like her pointy nails. Me and Jocelyn have really embraced the choker life lately. Uh, her choker's probably more than our whole closet. I though. mean, I'm not comparing cost. <laughs> I'm just saying that I like chokers too. <laughs> do you think I could pull off a choker? <laughs> this is literally $3 from Forever 21. It still looks good though. Thanks, babe. Can we talk about her eyebrows for a moment? Can we give them some respect? I'm just wondering why they always cover the belly button. Why do they do that? Like, does she not have a belly button? Is that the mystery, like Taylor Swift? I think she has a belly button, okay. girl. I think she does. She is a girl I would, I wanna be her mother, I wanna be her sister, Everything. I wanna be her girlfriend, I wanna be her Everything. daughter. Imagine Every Zendaya the mom. Oh my, bye. Lisa, it's Demetria <laughs> Lovato. Wow. This is Demi Lovato in like a very elegant pantsuit. I normally hate seeing girls in pantsuits, but she looks amazing because she's wearing that like lingerie type shirt. Oh my that? gosh, Nate, it's you! Oh Everybody gosh. thinks that you're Demi Lovato. Like I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> she's really salty that I brought that up. Can we talk about the whole like mesh boob situation going yeah, on? Yeah, that's hot. Panties on the magenta carpet <laughs> was very on trend this year. Is that the 2016 summer trend? Panties. Stop. I love that. That's not something easy to pull Look at you, you're like crazy. You're, I'm like. <laughs> this is the body language of, I'm so proud. I like this. This is very Demi Lovato. Absolutely. This is 100% authentic to her personal style. From the jacket to the pants, I wouldn't expect Demi to wear anything else tonight. It's a lot of masculinity. Which I like. Yeah. I'm a big fan of the whole like feminine masculine thing. Mm. I think it's really sexy. Kind of androgynous. Yeah. To me that jacket is a little bit like, I'm a sexy rocker chick, but I'm still gonna pick up my kids from soccer. <laughs> kind of like a cop, you know? She looks like a sexy cop. Looks like a brocade Pattern. jacket over lingerie. It's like plaid made of 
sparkles. It's really like the rocker chic vibe. Her short hair is killing it. I see lace. I see Madonna on her hands. I see defensive. It's just a lot of fierceness thrown up on her body. My only thing here is I don't get the gloves. Well, the reason she wore these is so that she can have access to her cell phone. Everyone knows oh. you need to be able to use the touch screen with your fingers. Yeah, you can't access with the gloves. And priorities. You have to Snapchat the Billboard Awards. Yes. You have to have the fingertips being able to protrude because yeah. how else do you put your contact lenses on? Protrude, I like that word. They're very, you can work with them and still wear them and do things that you need to do, like mm -hmm. pick your nose right. or text. Text. Don't cross her. <laughs> do not cross her. You see those gloves? Where's her whip? Those well, gloves my don't is. play. You know what's in that bag? What's in that bag? The whip. Oh, that's where the whip is. That's where the whip is. I love like the wide leg trousers. Mm -hmm. I could never wear them. Not my thing, but um, she looks great. I agree with the wide leg trousers. I can't pull it off. <laughs> I would die to see you in my leg trousers. She sexified the mom outfit. This is what your mom would wear to speak to the principal, but really? she Madonnafied it. Where's your mama from? <laughs> oh, wow. Her oh. eyes look really cool. The smoky eye with the nice, badass outfit. I think it all goes together really well. I feel like you would wear this, Lisa. Well, I'm, I mean, I wouldn't wear like the, the, the lacy top, oh but my I would gosh. wear the rest of it. I would pay you to wear this Once outfit. I get my abs like that, maybe. Promise? I'll start doing crunches now. Give me a pinky swear. Nope. Oh. <laughs> I love That's Rihanna. That's not what I was expecting. Yes, 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 yes. I was, oh, 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 what? I think she stands out more when she wears something that's not like out there. Like True. we noticed it more because we're used to seeing Rihanna and wanting something crazy. It's a drazer. You can't figure out if this is a shirt or a dress, but it's very elegant because Rihanna is so pretty. The fact that Rihanna even showed up to an award show is I just, a must. Uh, I mean, matches her eyes. It matches her. That's cool. In person, I bet this looks bomb because her eyes really pop. This is actually really tame for Rihanna. This looks like what my mom wore to a job interview in 1993, but it was like a sexy job interview where she wanted to show like some of her cleave. The pose is not doing it justice. She is so hot. She was gorgeous while she performed. She is so, uh, she is so, <laughs> let me finish. I'm not a huge fan of the color brown. I think it's like a shiny brown. It's got a little shimmer to it. And brown just makes me think of poop. Well, that's where you know. my mind is now. Thanks a lot, Lisa. She doesn't have to try hard. What are those diamonds on her shoe? I think it was great that she just wore something simple. She has nothing to prove, but those shoes, ooh, I love them. You're all so over cute. here like, I love, I love, I love. And my face is just like, really? I'm not feeling the shoes. Mm -mm. I'm not, not I, feeling the shoes. I'm just not crazy about this. The shoes don't really go with anything, but they, do look very elfin, and I love elves, so props to her for giving elves around the world a shout out. I will give her the shoes. I'm not a fan of everything above the shoe. Why? What are you talking about? This is an awesome, you haven't seen a dress like that ever, ever. It well, looks no. so tailored and flawless, and then the hair, it looks wet and drizzled and wavy, but still intact. Rihanna's killing it. She's wearing mules. They're Ooh. called mules because they don't have a back strap. What does that uh. have to do with mules? Mules are like a half donkey, like not all the way. Yeah. I had no idea they that that's why They call the mules in shoes. the fashion industry. No, because you're confused because you don't know if it's a shirt or a dress, but it's still cute. I am a little confused. I am a little confused, but no, but I'm not confused. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, here the Fifth Harmony Girls. Ugh, I don't even know where to begin. Damn. Okay, they look good. Damn. Lisa, are you ready to work from home? Work, work, work. They all. I don't know. Really I don't know who to look at. I, I hate lot looking at all of them at once. Okay. It's overwhelming. I like this because they actually all coordinate. A lot of times they go to the carpets and maybe two or three of them match, or there's like one tiny color that you have to really look for. Here they're all in black, very elegant looking, and they each still represent their own style. This is the one time I have seen Fifth Harmony, and they don't look as much of a girl group as I have seen them before. Okay. There's a little bit of a divide here between the styles. If these girls walk the carpet by themselves, I would say every single one of them look fantastic. But they are a group, and for some reason, I don't You're think that these You're not feeling it's no, going together? There is a little bit of a disconnect, I think, between each style. This is how a girl group should dress. I think they nailed it. Yeah, I've never seen the Spice Girls look like that. They have never looked better, but can we take a second to just zoom in on Camila? The Angelina leg, the backless thing, the attached well, why necklace. Why do people still call it the Angelina leg? People did it before Angelina. 
But did they? Yes. Like Angelina did? I don't think so. Why are you not going to comment on, on Normani's Angelina leg then? I haven't gotten to that part of the picture yet, Lisa. <laughs> Obviously, my favorite's going to be Camila, but Normani is giving Camila a run for I her mean, money. I mean, that leg. <laughs> and those oh. boobs. Okay. Holy crap. <laughs> I don't love her bangs. Not that I don't like the bangs on her. It's just more that it doesn't look like Normani. If I had to pick a favorite, I actually going to go with Dinah. She's got the blonde weave going on, and I think yeah. that dress fits her better than any dress has ever fit her. Okay, oh. my number one is Camila. Camila. She's got side boobs, side back, side uh, oblique. Yeah. And then this little thing tying it together right here. Love it. It's looks. a dress with a necklace built in. As much as I don't even want to say that Camila looks the best. She looks the best. Just because everybody always singles her out. She's going to have a solo career, but she does. That dress looks That dress bomb. is amazing. I'm going to go with Dinah as my number one. I just like the embellishment on the side. Dinah's probably my number two. Okay. I love the hairstyle. Favorite, I'm going to say... Camila, obviously. No, I'm going to say Lauren. Really? Yeah, look at that. Lauren has the best red carpet poses okay. ever. Look at that eyebrow raise. Like, Here's, she's just staring into your soul. Here's my thing. Her pose is definitely the best, but it looks like a nightgown, whereas Camila Camila looks like she's going to a ball. Fine. Where is that booty from Camila Cabello? Damn, she knew she had to stand to the side. She was like, let me show a little bit of this. But isn't it funny how Camila is like, just no, starting her solo career? It. She's starting her solo career by like, Piecing out on the side a little bit. She had a plan, girl. You know that. Look at oh, that. Oh my! So it's kind of like one of those things where you know you're gonna crop a bitch out, where you just kind of stand to the side in case you need to crop someone in the future. Vivian, are you gonna screenshot this and crop a bitch out? You're oh, I'm gonna out. put myself <laughs> in there. Is what I'm gonna do with this photo. Is that Kesha? No, that's not Kesha. Oh my God! Wait, the mariachi band. I was gonna say, did she come as a mariachi band member? Guadalajara, <laughs> Guadalajara. <laughs> How would she sing that? <laughs> <laughs> she that with some auto tune. <laughs> so Kesha is performing at the BBMAs after all of this drama earlier this week. She's going to be able to cover the Bob Dylan song that she wanted to do because Kimasabi Records and Dr. Luke finally backed off, but she's not allowed to say anything or talk to anyone, which is why it's so awesome that she's wearing this outfit because it's sending a message all its own. She doesn't need to say anything. She's like, I'm a matador. I'm ready for a fight. Come at me, bro. What do they call the bull tamers? Matador. Yes. Matador? She looks like a matador. I don't like it. It's cool. Who, who's ever want, like rocked a mariachi band outfit on? A mariachi part? band? Right. Do you think that this is a message? Do you think that she's saying, don't mess with me, yo? Yeah. Or. That's what she's saying. Or perhaps she's saying something a little more eloquent, like, don't mess with me, yo. OK. I love her. I love Kesha. I don't like this outfit. It's a symbol. The bull is Dr. Luke. And she's like, you're coming at me, trying to bang me up with your horns. But guess what? I've got this red flag, and I'm performing. Or, no, the magenta flag, mm -hmm, the carpet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See where I'm going here? Yeah, yeah. It's all like this huge you know, metaphor. Okay, she's like, you're not okay. going to go after me. I'm performing. So yes, I get it. Yeah, absolutely. I think her hair looks dope. And her, her makeup. Is that her hair? It looks I like mean, Sia. I'm sure everybody's rocking a wig tonight, but whatever is yeah, on her yeah, head, yeah. whatever she bought from Sally's Beauty Supply looks good. I think she is the best dress matador of the year, plus another shout out to elves with that footwear. Fantastic elfin shoe wear. And I just love the color of this, the, the purple. I don't know why. I mm. like the whole mariachi getup, and yeah. I like that it's sort of borrowing from Mexican culture. Mm -hmm. I say if you're gonna do it, you do it right. I say like lift a shirt, show a little belly button. You're not Taylor Swift, show really? the midriff. I think it's, it's still feminine. The purple, I think, is an homage to Prince. Holla, hey Prince. You know, cause like they're honoring him tonight. True. Is it bad that what I immediately thought of was Dancing with the Stars? Because for some oh. reason they do tango a lot, and for some reason I thought she bought to tango, but that is not even a tango in outfit. No, I would not tango in that. She looks like she's about to pull out a red cape and just go. Oh, oh. well, <laughs> just cover up my face. Not important. Sean Mendes! Ooh. You look grown up. You got yeah. a stylist. You look sexy. He's so cute. Look at him all grown up. Sean Mendes. I don't think the outfit's dark enough. <laughs> it's not black There's enough. There's way too much color on this. No. It's very interesting what's going on here. What is that? It's like it's almost like there's a collar mail. and then there's like a a very high neck vest and then a blazer. What? What is he? Is that a leather I don't vest? Actually, I don't understand. There's so many layers. Do you see what's happening? I just got new glasses so I can see good now. <laughs> what? There's something. Look underneath the jacket. There's a belt. There's another jacket. 
What's yeah, it's that? the vest thing. I'm telling you, it's a shirt and then a vest and then a blazer. I've never seen such a thing. I really want him to take the jacket off because I want to see if it's a vest. It, it kind of looks like he's wearing a, like a tire around his neck. Like, yeah. it's like he's sponsored by Goodyear or something, you know? You like NASCAR too? <laughs> Do you love NASCAR? Yes! Oh my god! I've never met another girl who She was the NASCAR. most unlikely girls that have a, oh like, of equal fashion. What? Wait, we need to talk about this after. Yeah. yeah! It's like so fashion forward. Misty's never heard of it. I like and it. She read uh, Vogue once. I feel like I'm in Gotham and this is the dark night. Or a funeral. I want someone to wear color to my funeral, but that's a side note. <laughs> <laughs> you would want that. I do, I do. Okay, the little piece of fabric in between his shirt and his jacket is what the Phantom of the Opera wore. And so he's just channeling <laughs> the Wonderful music musical, of the night, by the way. Right? <laughs> I think overall the suit fits him really well, yeah. and that's hard to do when you're a guy to tailor it really well to your body, but I don't understand what the thing under the vest. I kind of like the, it. Uh, I'm just uh, confused by it, but I like it. Uh, I think I'd like it more without the shield, but I'm not mad about it. He looks amazing. I mean, he always looks great. He's really cute. And Just not voice. pinch his old cheeks. Mm. Jocelyn Davis, otherwise known as Zilala. Oh my God, is this Jocelyn Davis? Oh my Our God, I'm so, I'm so glad Jocelyn was able to go she to the Billboard Music Awards. <laughs> she hit the red carpet for Clever, of course, and we just had our favorite stylist uh, do one over on Jocelyn. I can't even keep a straight. <laughs> Ooh, go Joss! Jocelyn looks amazing at the Billboard Music Awards. I, I cannot get enough of her on the carpet. I'm so jealous that she even got to go to Vegas and interview everybody. And then she looks better than all the rest of the celebrities. Like Jocelyn is representing for Clever. That's not Jocelyn. What? That's Zilala. Wait, what? No, that's Jocelyn. The world now knows that I am Z Lala, a really cagey, edgy EDM singer. Literally though, cage, when literally I got to cage. hair and makeup today, I was like, turn me into Z Lala because she is my secret twin apparently, Ooh. or the internet thinks so. It's the, it's the cheekbones and the prune face. Yeah, there you go. I appreciate the people that go to carpets like this because it's artistic it is. and it's not your classic like, I look good, I got my nice dress on. Right. It's it's something to talk about, it's fun, it's artistic, and it's just different, so I appreciate something like that. Keep things interesting and not being so boring. It looks like it's made out of like the the six, the like things that hold soda together. Why oh, I... the six, pa the yeah. plastic. Yep. I just don't know how she maneuvers successfully in this I don't get either, but she has a great prune face. Yeah, ooh. She got prune. Prune. Mm -hmm. Anyone who has confidence enough to wear something like this, I am on their team. Lisa, who was your fave on the carpet? Surprising, my favorite was Ariana Grande. Really? I do. I, I just liked it was fun and it was black and blue, and those are two of my favorite colors. I thought she looked great, but agree to disagree because okay. the only person worth watching on the carpet was my girl, Z Lala. <laughs> So I know we didn't talk about her tonight, but my favorite was Britney Spears. Oh, Queen! Guys, Britney, <laughs> Britney's back, it's Britney, bitch. She showed up ready to party. I loved it so much, but my favorite of the night had to go to, you know, my girl Camila Cabello. How shocking. She just stunned. She looked like she was going to a ball. It's I weird. Want... It's like you never talk about her, so I... it's strange that you picked her. <laughs> right, her and Hillary. Get it? He talks about her all the time. My queens. <laughs> my favorite tonight had to be Britney Spears. I asked which dress was your favorite. Britney wasn't wearing a dress, was she? Girl, you messed me <laughs> up. You knew I was gonna say Britney. She was in underwear. <laughs> Everyone's gonna hate me, but my favorite dress was Camila Cabello. I think she rocked that magenta carpet. I love the gold necklace and the backless dress. It was awesome, and it accentuated her booty. I was like, it where'd did. you get that booty? My favorite look of the night has to be, tell me, guess. Za, 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 za. Zendaya. Oh, that's simple, gorgeous, <laughs> elegant. Killed it. But Britney Spears is like the only woman that can wear something where I'm like, yeah, I would buy that, you know, if I had the money. But you like, can't buy anything she wears. But like, if you can't wear it in public. Okay. <laughs> but everything that she wears is just like, ooh, could I pull that off? No, but I would try. So my absolute favorite is somebody that we actually didn't talk about, and that was Sierra because she oh pulled out her whole entire wardrobe for this award show, and she looks flawless. She just had a baby, and she's killing it. So she is. Um, I almost forgot about Sierra, and I hate to say that, but no one's forgetting about her anytime soon. Yeah. For me though, it was Demi Lovato. I really, really. You're a doppelganger. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I guess I really love Demi's look tonight. I think it's just so her, and it's so mm. sexy, and this whole rock thing, I'm loving it. My favorite of all of these people yes. was, without a doubt, Zendaya, bitches. She looked amazing. She looked always amazing. looks amazing. Always, Zendaya, always. Zendaya, give me whatever you're drinking in your water. 
But my favorite, we didn't talk about her, but <gasps> Sierra. Oh. Sierra changed like 17 times. Talk about being a chameleon. Oh my God, girl slay. So those were our favorite dresses on the magenta carpet at the Billboard Music Awards. Let us know what your favorites were. Let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. And for more action from the Billboard Music Awards, click to the left to see our breakdown of all of the highlights because like so much crazy stuff happened or click to the right to get the full list of all of the night's big winners. Thanks again to T-Mobile for sponsoring this episode. Only T-Mobile lets binge watchers and music lovers do more with their data.